we've good, got good, in good the black job. and ready? white shorts, ready? Ung La Ung Song in the black shorts, Michael Pasternak. This fight has been brought to you by AGD Bank, the bank that grows with you. There's going to be a lot of pressure on Ung La Ung Song as he's fighting in his home territory here and everyone is is shouting out his name the stadium is going crazy for him there's going to be that pressure he's going to feel it uh, but you know maybe he can ride off that and put a, a good fight together tonight Pasternak is moving very well laterally as Unglai's rush is moving forward and he connected there with the right hand yeah Michael just got uh, caught there and uh, Ung La Ung Sung looks pretty calm and collected here he's actually standing in the center of the cage letting Michael wander around and uh, change his uh, stance but Ung La Ung Sung is looking very calm and composed yeah Ung La Ung Sung says he draws energy from his Myanmar people and he uses that and it, it's almost like an energy burst that comes exploding out of his fists. Well, they are all here tonight, and they are all supporting him. Let's hope all of that energy goes into the center of the cage and hopes uh, and helps Ang La Ang Sung win this fight. Pasternak's moving back and forth. He's changing positions. Ang La lands in a nice little leg kick, and you gotta wonder from that knee injury, does it impair Pasternak at all? his movement his ability you do have to wonder and uh, I mean if this fight gets out of the first round maybe you'll feel a bit of wear and tear Ang Ang Sung might be aiming for that particular leg uh, that might be part of the game plan as well uh, but you know Ang La is looking pretty calm he's letting Michael throw those strikes and he's just blocking them and uh, you know shaking them off his shoulder head kick thrown there by Ang La Ang Sung I thought uh, Michael Pasternak's reach advantage might play a bit more in this uh, jabbing exchange, but uh, Ang La Ang Sung appears to be doing very well. The crowd is getting behind their hero, Ang La Ang Sung, as he jumps forward to throw that big right hand. He's really not putting together the punches on this massive night here in Myanmar, but that was it. I like the way he's throwing these kicks and he's attacking the legs of Pasternak, Peter. Yeah, Pasternak uh, was, uh, he wobbled a little bit on his leg there, but Pasternak just threw some uh, a barrage of uh, four hooks and uh, some of them connected. No damage being shown on either of the guys' faces here. Ang La Ang Sung throwing in nice counters. A bit of an overhand there, ducking under Michael Pasternak's punches. You know, it, it, it could go either way at the moment, but that leg kick, that leg kick is going to make a difference. Yeah, that's gonna pay some big dividends later in the fight. And Ung La is just tearing up that lead leg and it's forcing Pasternak to switch as he lands a nice overhand right to Pasternak's chin. And again, as Pasternak jumps in, he gets caught with another right hand. There's and a beautiful right hand, Peter. Beautiful bright right hand, lovely counters coming in from Ang La here. Uh, Michael Pasternak is not taking the fight to the ground. Uh, maybe he should uh, do that now as uh, Ang La is actually out striking him. Yeah, there has been zero takedown attempts from both these fighters, but now Pasternak is starting to let go a little bit, and we're seeing a little bit of blood trickle down from Pasternak, and that's from that right hand that's been connecting beautifully. That, that's got to give uh, Ang La a little bit more confidence in this fight, knowing he's damaged his opponent. Visually being able to see that is very good when you're in the middle of that cage. About to take it to the cage, speaking of which, uh, however, they're back in the center again. That right duck under cross seems to work very well. It's a very good weapon for Ang La. And Michael Pasternak throwing wildly, hitting air with his reply. Ung La said he wanted to showcase those boxing skills he's been working so hard on. And Jamal Hardgrove at a crazy 88 says he's got some beautiful hand combinations we haven't yet seen yet. So this is a new dimension to the Burmese Python. But he, he's sitting there and he's sticking and moving and he, he's looking to set those new strikes that we have not seen yet up. That big overhand right is, is playing a big part in this fight as well, I can definitely tell you that. But he's not really putting together combinations. He's just timing that right hand, and that's been the most effective strike. Now Pasternak's starting to put it on him a little bit oh. as the fight goes to the ground, but we've only got 20 seconds left, Peter. 20 seconds might not be enough to get a submission unless they are very cunning. Okay, they're back up with cage control there from Michael Pasternak, pushing his head up against the chin of Angla. 
it's a reasonably strong finish for Michael Pasternak for the round, but he had been totally outstruck throughout the first. Man, Peter, I'm having Ooh. a hard time hearing you, and you're sitting right next to me. This crowd is absolutely electrified here in Myanmar. They're a little bit worried for the hometown hero, though. They've got that nervous edge like they had the last time he fought here. But let's hope he can pull the win out of the bag and sets them all at ease. And in the replay here, we can see that both fighters are stalking. Uh, Michael Pasternak going with some strikes, but none of them really doing much damage. Ang La Ang Sung is throwing, well, throws on a knee, which unbalances him, gets him in a bad position against the cage, which Michael tries to dominate from, but not that much happens in that position and that final section of the first round. Yeah, so in this fight, how do you have it scored, Peter? I do believe damage is uh, playing a big part in this fight again, uh, and Ang La has caused damage to Michael Pasternak's uh, the side of his face and he's been getting those leg kicks in. I can see some tiny, a tiny bit of welting on uh, the lead leg of Michael Pasternak there. This fight is only three rounds, so we are now in round two. We're about to start the sixth minute of this middleweight contest. Fights are judged on a whole, not round by round, so please keep that in mind as you are about to be thoroughly entertaining the biggest event in sports entertainment history here in Myanmar as Pasternak jumps in for the takedown, immediately goes into the clinch and presses Ang La Ang Sung up against the cage, but he gets pushed off. Very cool and composed there, Ang La Ang Sung. He, he, he made sure he, he did exactly what he had to do to get Michael Pasternak off, throwing that big, heavy right kick there. Oh, Michael Pasternak coming back with some strikes, but they, they look a bit wavy. They're not direct, they're not accurate. Angla is hunting down Michael Pasternak through that big left cross in a southpaw position now. He's hitting that leg with his uh, left roundhouse kick to Michael Pasternak's lead leg. Michael is throwing his punches in the air and Angla is just being down accurate. Here, but he goes for the takedown and gets the double leg. I like how Ung La Ung Sang changed his stance and went southpaw, Peter. But now, oh, he's got his back. Uh, Ung La led the fight move to the cage there. And now he's going Burmese Python on Michael Pasternak. He has a rear naked choke attempt in from the side here. May not be deep at all. So he's going to have to readjust. Michael is looking a little bit exhausted. This is when the boa constrictor, the Burmese Python, can go in and cause some damage. He's got half guard right now up against the cage. Michael is looking like he's in a bad place right now. There might be some more ground and pound before we see Angla try and dig in one of his infamous submission attempts. He's passing the guard of Michael Pasternak there. Michael Pasternak got one butterfly hook in on the left. Now he's pulled back to full guard and, uh, oh, he's let Angla stand up, jump back into guard and do some strikes. Back and forth battle here on the ground, but Pasternak's doing the right thing. He's staying relaxed, staying composed. He's got to be careful about the kicks, but he lands a nice shot there as he goes in. It looks like Ung Lang Song's trying to adjust, but Pasternak goes in for the double leg, got him pressed up against the cage. Ung Lang gets the underhook, so it's going to make Pasternak work super hard to get that takedown. Let's see if he can. Angla looks very composed, though. Pasternak does look the more tired of the two. Going in, Das Choke, maybe? No? Okay. Pasternak's gone down to the ground. He can't stay in that position. Uh, he's trying to dive around in a wrestling style to get to the back of Angla, but Angla just stands back up and knees him in the head. Pasternak's mouth is wide open, breathing heavily, and Ung Lang Song looks like he just started the fight as he's walking through Central Park. And he throws a nice little inside leg kick. Pasternak answers back with some punches and a leg kick of his own. Ung La does look a little tired, speaking like, uh, you know, of Michael Pasternak's tiredness, but not to the same degree by any means. Michael Pasternak landing a couple of jabs in there in a southpaw position, but I don't think that's going to phase Ung La too much. Angela is going to stay there and wait for the counter, quite possibly. The crowd is really getting behind Angela Ang Sung right now. They want to see him finish this fight, and they want to see him do it in style. you got to wonder. Oh. He, oh, he throws him to the ground and ends up on top. Now Pasternak is trying to pass over into Mount, 
but it looks like Uglong Sung has the knee in there as he's pressing up against, he's pushing away on the hips. Yeah, he's pushing away on the hips there, and he's, uh, he's hip escaped, so then Michael Pasternak's up against the cage, but it means he can't push him any further. So Michael Pasternak now is like in a sort of half guard. There's one butterfly hook in from Angla's left leg. Uh, Angla being a jiu-jitsu, uh, you know, practitioner, obviously he, he's gonna try and flip the situation around. It's half guard now, Michael Pasternak throwing in elbows. This is an exciting fight. This is the fight that the crowd here in Yangon wanted to see. We've got less than one minute to go in round two. Ulong Song looks very relaxed. I think he's sucking in all that energy from this packed crowd here in Myanmar. He is indeed. He just looked up to the clock to see how much left of round two there is. So there's now 40, less than 40 seconds. Michael Pasternak is in the top position, but he is in half guard. Ang Lang Sung has his left knee across the belly, so Michael can't advance. But Michael just uh, managed to get into his uh, full guard. Will Michael sit up and do strikes? That's what he needs to do to get a potential TKO in the last 20 seconds, Mitch. Pasternak looks like he's dominating this fight a little, bit, a little bit of ground and pound. You gotta wonder, is this enough to start swinging the fight in What's his favor as we get the 10 second clapper on Long Song trying to fight from guard, keeping Pasternak nice and close so he's not oh, able to unleash any strikes. But we're gonna see a third round of this middleweight battle here in Myanmar. I, I want to go back to the replay and see the action there. I want to see who I think potentially has the edge in this fight. Uh, you know, in the first round, it was uh, Angla Aung Sung striking, Pasternak going for takedowns. Angla doing the takedown defense quite easily there and uh, doing what he has to stay away from the cage. Double nice leg takedown take from Pasternak there indeed. Angla doing a good job of getting his back to the cage and he cage walked up. Big knee there. Nice, solid strikes. Put him off balance a bit, then uh, Michael came in with a body strike to the grounded opponent, which is totally legal. And, uh, you know, that's very natural movements from these fantastic mixed martial arts fights. Is this fight gonna come down to conditioning? It might very well come down to conditioning. Polish guys are tough, I can tell you that. Uh, staying in Europe for a long time, Polish guys are super tough, but we're dealing with the Burmese python up in that cage, and uh, I think he might want to put some right, constriction on. Ready? With the support of his hometown fans <laughs> here in Yangon, Myanmar, Ung La Ung Song and Michael Pasternak are about to get started in the third and final round. They were just both standing in the pocket a second ago. No strikes really being thrown. They, they, they're very, very close to each other. It's that, that straight right. That right cross from Ang La Ang Sung is uh, landing, but Michael Pasternak comes up with three shots that landed as well. So I'm just looking into the cage here instead of the monitor. Nice leg kick from Ang La. This is such an exciting fight to watch. And uh, you know, it, it's made all that mu much more exciting because the crowd is going crazy for their hometown hero. Everything Ung La does, the crowd just erupts with noise. And a nice little attempt at a strike, but Ung La slipped just barely out of the way as Pasternak's punch flew by his face. There you go, the body shots uh, mixing it up a bit. Uh, as you said, Ung La trying to do combinations with his boxing. Uh, getting that time, leg kick time. in again, just missing. And Olivia Cost steps in to address an issue with one of Michael Pasternak's gloves. I like the leg kicks, Peter. Those are doing a lot of damage and they're landing very consecutively. If he could put together some of those low leg kicks followed by some punches, we're gonna see him start to put together these combinations he's been talking about. It would be fantastic if he could do that. I would love to see it. Okay, they're both back at very close range. Michael throwing overhand jabby crosses and oh he's landing several of them as well but angler is doing a good job of just brushing them off angler hits the cage and rolls out back into the center with michael michael looks to get that body lock on but he's only got a seat on the hook uh, falls to the ground angler is actually in a dominant position here he has a muay thai clinch on there michael throws that left hook and lands they both roll back to the center of the cage Oh, oh, looks to be the fresher of the two fighters as Pasternak's mouth is wide open, his hands are down by his waist. Ungla is consistently pushing forward. 
If he would jump on him, he might be able to land some more damage here. He might do. I mean, Michael's hands are completely down by his side. This would be a great time for, for Angla to throw in some crosses Again. and do some head striking damage. Michael still having those big rabbit punches. Uh, the thing is, though, he is very heavy. He's weighing in at over 100 kilograms. Those rabbit punches will do some significant damage. So Angla is doing a good job to move out of the way of them. Good movement by Ung La. He looks to be the fresher of the two. Nice and light, getting his range right there as he's consistently moving forward. I like that inside leg kick that he's throwing, and that right hand is an absolute trip hammer, and it's landed very effectively. It's got to be the most significant strike of the match. I, I think so. Damage-wise, Ung La does look to be winning. Again, I'm not a judge, but uh, if you look at Michael Pasternak's face compared to Ung La, Ung Sung's, uh, i definitely give this fight to Ung La right now. However, uh, it's also accumulation of strikes. Michael Pasternak just fell to the floor. Uh, he, he shot in for a takedown, but he didn't put any momentum behind it. Ung La dives on top of him with a hammer fist and he's about to pass Michael Pasternak's guard completely. He's in side control. He just demonstrated some great ground control there. He's got the elbow on Michael's face. Can Angler put enough energy out on that mat now to finish this fight in this position, in side control on top of Michael Pasternak? Don't forget though, Michael Pasternak is the Polish ADCC champion. So he does know what he's doing, but fatigue is setting in. We got about 90 seconds left in this highly competitive middleweight fight. Back into the guard of Pasternak. Ung La just kind of looked up into the clock to see how much time he's got left. That's exactly what he's doing here. He wants to know how long he's got to stay in this dominant position for and throw ground and pound. He can win this fight on decision if he hasn't, you know, already by putting in more damage and showing more ground control in this last minute of the fight against Michael Pasternak. He's moving position here. He's looking to get to full mount. He's, he's in half guard right now. Michael Pasternak throwing in strikes, still touching the ear of Angla, so they're legal, not the back of the head, but Michael is keeping him close, which is a sign that he can't take any more strikes and doesn't want to. Oh, Michael, nice there as Ung La Ung Sa just passed the guard as Pasternak tried to create some a little bit of movement. Now he's got neon belly and he's gonna finish this fight in a very dominant position in side control. He, he's, he's really, really working that side control with 15 seconds left. Olivier Costa stepping in to make sure everything's okay. A knee to the head, the damage is mounting up. Oh my goodness. The, the crowd is going wild right now. I really, really, I, I, I just don't know what's going to happen if he does win. Big fight from two very exciting middleweights as we go to the judges' scorecard in this highly competitive middleweight fight. Peter, how do you have this fight scored? Well, I saw a lot of striking from Ang La Ang Sung. He had, like, good inside leg kicks. He had strong punches, nice crosses, and he caused a lot of damage to Michael. Uh, so I rate him pretty high in striking and damage. Uh, he got taken down a couple of times. However, as we can see here, he has good takedown defense and threw a couple of devastating body knees in. He also shot past Michael on the ground, shot past this guard, went in, did some hammer fists, did some damage, threw some knees to the head on the ground, threw some elbows to the head on the ground. It might just go to our hometown hero. Yeah, he had a very dominant final five minutes there, especially when he ended up in that position, attempting the crucifix, landing some big strikes to end the round. And we are gonna go to the official decision. Let's hear from Dominic Lau, who won this middleweight fight. To present the medal for this fight, we have Tutet Teza, Managing Director of Asia Green Development Bank. And now, ladies and gentlemen, after three rounds of intense battle in the cage, we turn now to our judges' scorecards, who all score in favor for your winner by unanimous decision.
from the red corner.